Hello everybody, welcome. I'm Kayla here with PetMD and this week we're going to be talking about salicylic acid and why you'll find it in some of our products. But before we get started, first and foremost, I'd like to remind everybody watching that before you start anything new, check in with your veterinarian. They know your pet best. I can recommend products that um, I believe will work for a lot of different conditions, but um, you and your veterinarian know your pet best and can recommend the right products for your specific pet. And finally, if you have any questions about any of the products I talk about today, uh, feel free to reach out. You can leave questions in the comments. Um, you can reach out to us. You can email us at support at petmdstore.com. Um, you can reach us through Amazon. You can give us a call. Um, if you have any questions about any of our products, we are here to help. Um, we want your pets to live happy and healthy lives. And if our products can do that, fantastic. So let's talk about salicylic acid. So what is it, why is it in the products, and why is it important? So salicylic acid is, um, if you're familiar with over-the-counter acne products, it's in a lot of those for humans um, because it helps to exfoliate the skin um, and helps to dissolve um, substances that keep the skin cells together on the outer layer of the skin. Um, so it works by softening and moisturizing um, your pet skin or your skin um, and breaking up and washing away the dead skin cells that um, might be causing issues. Um, so the exfoliation of the salicylic acid helps to provide, um, the exfoliation helps to get rid of uh, flakes of dandruff, skin crusts, excess oils and odors, um, and, and also helps to prevent the formation of new crusty skin. So um, in humans that would be acne, in pets that can be um, Anything that can cause scaling, itching, um, could be acne in your pet as well. Anything that causes um, scaling, itching, dandruff um, on your pet's skin. So um, salicylic acid also has antiseptic properties. Um, so all of those things together work to help clear up your pet's skin. Now, you'll notice that um, we have mostly ear care products and then we have a shampoo. So in shampoos like our benzoyl peroxide shampoo, salicylic acid works to, um, in combination with the sulfur and benzoyl peroxide, um, which are other types of antiseptic and um, products, uh, chemicals that the three of those together work in conjunction um, to not only smooth and soothe your pet's skin, but also help to get rid of um, any harmful fungi or bacteria um, that might be on your pet's skin um, that can lead to even more serious skin infections. So the salicylic acid benzoyl peroxide and um, the sulfur all in the benzoyl peroxide shampoo all work together to help um, exfoliate the skin and then get rid of anything nasty that might be hanging out on your pet's skin that you don't want. So um, like I said, salicylic acid helps to um, remove the kind of exfoliate away the outer layer of skin um, and washes away ex excess oils um, to help dry out those bumps um, and um, relieve any itching that they may cause. Um, so with, like I said, with the antiseptic properties, um, not only does it exfoliate and remove those skin cells that we don't want, um, it also helps to um, help prevent any infections that might be brewing on your pet's skin. So in ear care, salicylic acid's antiseptic properties um, help prevent ear infections in the ear canal. Um, it's also an effective drying agent, so um, your pet's ears can trap moisture, um, which then can lead to infections. So the salicylic acid in the um, ear care products in our Otic cleans in our um, ear wipes and our advanced ear wipes all go to help dry the ear canal so that moisture can't get trapped and it can't um, help and it can't prevent and it can't cause infections. So um, 
let's talk about each of these individual products um, specifically. So kind of mentioned a lot about the benzoyl peroxide shampoo. Um, really great um, for using um, for seborrhea, which is a condition that um, results, results in oily um, dandruff-ridden coats um, that can smell really bad. Um, so when the hair follicles become plugged with excess oil, um, they can become infected and inflamed, resulting in red, acne-like bumps on the coat. And so a shampoo like the benzoyl peroxide can help um, with those conditions, can help clear the skin, can help rid that excess moisture and that scaling and help to get your pet's coat back to normal. Um, so, like I said, it removes scales and crusts. Um, it can dry the skin because, like I said, the salicylic acid is a, an effective drying agent. So it can help dry and remove those excess oils. Um, so it's an excellent degreaser and flushes out the hair follicles. Um, it's got antibacterial, antiseptic properties. Um, the sulfur removes scale and crust and reduces scale production. Um, and it all redu reduces itching. So. Overall, it's a really great product to help um, with any of those um, topical, um, with that seborrhea or anything similar to that. Um, it's got a citrus scent to it, so it's got a nice pleasant smell, um, and it's soap-free, so, um, you know, it's not going to, um, it's, it's going to be gentle on the coat while also being tough on that scaling um, and oil and grossness that we don't want on our pet's coats. So overall, really great shampoo, smells really great, and it's really great for helping um, remove all of that scaling and crusting um, and flushing out the hair follicles and making your pet feel a lot better. So that's our shampoo. We also have a couple of ear cleaners. And like I said, um, salicylic acid is really great at drying the ear canal to help get the rid of the moisture. Um, if you're, you should be cleaning your pet's ears um, uh, routinely. So once a month, if your pet has normal ears, just kind of you know, looking in them weekly and then cleaning them out with an ear cleaner once a month just to make sure that um, they're all nice and clean and nothing is getting in there. Um, and then if you have a pet that has long floppy ears or ears that are really tight and can trap moisture e easily, um, or your pet is prone to ear infections, or your dog swims a lot, um, you'll want to make, make sure you're cleaning their ears more frequently. And so it's a couple different products to help with those ear cleanings. So if your pet swims a lot or is... Um, is prone to ear infections, then the Oticleans are a really great option for that. So they are liquid, and um, we have a cucumber melon scent and sugar cookie. Um, so they both smell really nice. They leave a l nice, pleasant smell um, l lingering in your pet's ears. Um, so nothing overwhelming, um, but if you are sensitive to smells, then I would recommend the Trist. The Trist does not have salicylic acid in it, but it has its own amazing properties to help clean, um, deodorize, and dry your, the, your pet's ear canal. Um, so the, um, the Trist doesn't really have any smell to it, so if you or your pet is very sensitive to smells, then I would recommend that product. Um, but our Oticleans have really nice, um, pleasant smells. The cucumber melon's great. My favorite's the sugar cookie. It smells uh, like Christmas. Um, I really love the smell of the sugar cookie one. Um, and it's not overwhelming, so it, it, it leaves like a nice, pleasant scent. So, you know, it's especially if your pet's ears um, have odor in them, then the Oda Cleans can kind of leave a nice pleasant smell um, behind. They um, are, um, they help clean, cleanse, deodorize, and dry the ear canal um, to help stop it, any itching and prevent further ear issues. Um, they also have aloe vera in them, which soothes and reduces inflammation, and the salicylic acid reduces itching and is, um, has the antibacterial properties. Um, so these are great for either routine cleaning. So you basically shake it, you open it up, you put a few drops in your pet's ear, you let them shake, and then you take a cotton round and then you'll um, wipe out any excess moisture or any um, 
any uh, debris that might be in your pet's ears. And you only want to go down as far as you can see. So you won't want to be shoving the cotton round too far deep into their ears, um, just enough to get anything, any debris out that you see. Um, and so these are really great, especially if your pet swims a lot. Um, you want to make sure you're drying their ears after swimming um, and then cleaning them out to make sure there's nothing in there. Um, so the Oda Cleans are really great at getting all the way down in there, clearing out any debris or um, microorganisms that we don't want in there, um, and helping to prevent any further infections. Or if your pet does is prone to ear infections, the Oda Clean might be a great option to um, help flush anything out that might be there that might be growing um, that we don't want growing in our pet's ears. And these can be used on dogs and cats. Um, they're, um, you know, like I said, sm pleasant smell. Um, they're not, you know, it's pretty easy to use. Um, you just drop a couple drops into their ear and then a cotton ball just to wipe up anything, um, any debris or anything like that. Um, your pet should shake their ear. You know, it's kind of hard not to. Um, but if your pet is um, totally against any liquid in their ear or you don't feel like you can do it or for whatever reason a liquid is not the best option for you and your pet we do have um, our two ear wipes and so we have our regular ear wipes for dogs and these have aloe vera and eucalyptus oil in them um, and they are pre-soaked cotton rounds that look like this um, so they have textures on them to help wipe away any debris or anything like that. And these are really great for routine cleanings or for pets that um, absolutely will not do the liquids um, or for pets that have lots of folds in their ears. And it's kind of, um, you want to make sure you're getting all of that debris, um, anything that might be lurking in your pet's ears out. Um, and these have a nice... Um, like aloe and eucalyptus smell to them. And again, if that power, that smell sometimes for some people can be overwhelming. In that case, definitely recommend the Tris. Um, but um, if you don't mind it, it's a nice pleasant smell. It just kind of leaves a little bit of a nice smell in your pet's ears. Um, and so it makes it super easy and convenient to clean out your pet's ears. Um, you know, if there are a hundred count in here and this is what they look like. Um, so super easy, just wrap around your fingers um, and then go into your pet's ears, wipe anything out that you see, and you're good to go. Um, so they, um, they're gentle and safe for regular um, use. Um, they can help to prevent ear infections, reduce wax buildup, and remove debris in and out, in and around the ear. Um, there's a hundred of them. They're alcohol free as well. They're soothing. They're not irritating. The aloe um, in there is really soothing and helps to reduce inflammation and itching. Um, the same with the eucalyptus. So they help reduce foul odor um, and prevent infections and keep your dog's ears happy and healthy. Um, eucalyptus also has antiseptic properties. Um, and so it's um, really great at helping to uh, get rid of anything that might be lurking in your pet's ears. Um, eucalyptus can be toxic to cats um, if ingested in large amounts. Um, so if you have a cat and a dog and you happen to buy these and you happen to need to clean your pet, your cat's ears, it's okay. Um, cats just tend to lick themselves more, so just it's a preventative measure. There would be it need to be a lot of eucalyptus for them to ingest it for them for it to be a problem. But just as a safety precaution, um, I would recommend buying the advanced ear wipes if you're going to use these for the, your cats. Um, but not going to be um, you know, it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't be. Um, it's not going to be a problem if you happen to use these on a cat once or twice. Um, just remember that cats like to lick things, so um, that's why they're not recommended for cats. But um, so that's our advanced ear. That's our ear wipes. These are one of our best sellers um, for good reason. They're really great wipes. People love them, and um, they really do their job at helping to clean out your pet's ears and to help prevent infections that might be lurking in your pet's ears. And finally, we have our advanced ear wipes. So our advanced ear wipes are great for um, cats and dogs, um, and they are gentle. All of our products are pretty gentle on your pet's skin and ears. Um, they help to reduce um, wax buildup and remove debris, um, and they 
um, I have a cucumber melon scent, so it's the same kind of smell as our Eau de Clean here. Um, and there's 100 again in here, um, and they look, they're the same kind of wipes, just a different um, li pre-soaked liquid on them, so they look exactly the same. They got the ridges to help get rid of, pick up any of that debris, has a pleasant cucumber melon scent, um, and again, some people think it's a little overwhelming, but um, if you're not sensitive to smells, then I don't think it is. I mean, if you're going to, you know, put your nose right in the jar, then maybe. But, um, you know, it has a nice, pleasant smell to it. It leaves, like, a nice, pleasant scent on your pet's ears. Um, so these have um, chlorazylenol in them, which is an antimicrobial um, used to um, help control bacteria, algae, and fungi. It's antiseptic. Um, and a disinfectant. It also has salicylic acid, like we've been talking about, to help reduce any scaling, um, help to reduce itching and dry the ear canal, um, to remove scale and crust, reduce scale production, reduces itching and antibacteria. Um, um, so again, really great for dogs and cats, um, and has a cucumber melon scent to it. So you can't really go wrong with any of these products um, for your pet's ears, so it's more of a preference. So the liquids, uh, we have the sugar cookie and the Oda Clean, both really great options. Um, so more of a smell preference on those. Um, and then liquid versus a wipes. Wipes are super convenient, just go in and go. Um, liquids are really great at getting deep into the ear canal, um, but some pets don't like that and it's not necessary for every pet. So, um, but cleaning your pet's ears is something that you should be doing uh, free, uh, routinely. So once a month, like I said, um, for most dogs and cats, if your pet is um, prone to ear infections, more cleaning more frequently. If your pet um, is um, swims a lot um, or has floppy ears, then cleaning their ears more often um, is recommended to help prevent those ear infections. And finally, we talked about our benzoyl peroxide um, shampoo. It has benzoyl peroxide, sulfur, and salicylic acid all to help with conditions like seborrhea, to help um, reduce the scaling and itching on your pet's skin, remove dandruff, flaking, um, and red acne-like bumps um, and, and greasy skin that might um, be plaguing your dog or cat. And so these can be used on dogs and cats as well, and it has a nice citrus scent to it to um, kind of leave your pet with a pleasant scent because seborrhea and conditions like that can leave, can be, um, can leave your pet's coat not smelling the greatest. So um, the nice citrus scent um, leaves a pleasant scent and it helps in the um, three ingredients help to reduce um, all of that scaling, itching, um, and degreasing um, on your pet's skin. So again, salicylic acid is really great at reducing, um, at exfoliating your pet's skin, um, so to softening and moisturizing your dog or cat's skin while breaking up and washing away dead skin cells. Um, so it helps to remove flaking, skin crusts, excess oils and odor um, from the coat. Um, it all helps to prevent new formation of, uh, formation of new crusty skin. So also has antiseptic properties. So it's a really great um, ingredient, um, over-the-counter ingredient you'll see in acne medications for humans, and then you'll also see in um, products for your pet for um, ear care because it's, um, it's really great as a drying agent to help remove excess moisture in your pet's ear or in shampoos like our benzoyl peroxide shampoo um, to reduce itching and scaling and crusting on your pet's skin. So that's it for today. Um, again, ear wipes, um, eau de clean, and our benzoyl peroxide. If you have any questions about any of these products, feel free to reach out. We are here to help and I hope that um, our ear cleaners and our benzoyl peroxide uh, can help your pet live a happy and healthy life. So.